Hey Jeff, going in there when 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 Drew got hurt, how long did it take you to get in some kind of rhythm and feel comfortable out there? Hey, you guys got me? Yep, you hear me? Yep. Okay. Uh when you went in there, how long did it take you to get comfortable and get into a rhythm after Drew got hurt? Yeah, I mean, as a backup quarterback, it's my job to be ready at all times. Um, you never want to see your guy go down. Um, but at the end of the day, that's my job to be ready to go and uh, prepared all week. And, um, you know, my job is to to give the team a chance to win, and we didn't do that. So got to make a couple more plays here or there, and uh, maybe it's a different ballgame. Jeff, what do you think changed in the second half that allowed you guys to build up some momentum and have some consistent drives down the field like you did? Yeah, I mean, it just comes down to execution. Um, you just got to go out and execute, throw and catch, you know, get a hat on a hat and uh, let your let your ability take over. And uh, I thought we did that um, at times and we just need some more consistency and we need to finish off some of those drives and, uh, you know, on my end, get the ball out and uh, get it to get it to the athletes in space because we have we have plenty of playmakers. Jeff, you had a a great pass to Fant, an unbelievable pass to Gordon, and you have a chance to win that game. On that last play with Edmonds, did you see him, or was there a miscommunication on him coming completely free? Can you just take me through what happened on that last play, your guys' last play or your last drive? Yeah, I mean, we were we were in uh, in an empty set. You know, we released, we released five, and uh, I just didn't get <laughs> – I mean, I didn't get my eyes in the right spot. My eyes were in the wrong spot. And um, that, that was on me. I got to find a way to, uh, to get the ball out there. And um, if my eyes are in the right spot, it happens a lot faster. And I can find a way to uh, navigate a throw and, and get it to somebody in, uh, who's running free. Thank you. Appreciate it. You got me? OK. Um, Talk to me a little bit about the idea in the second half, there's not 70,000 people here. Does it make it any easier on you as an offense? Does it give you any better opportunity to rally like you did? I mean, I don't know. I mean, we're all professionals. I don't think a, a crowd would rattle, you know, the grown men that we have. Um, it's, it's definitely a lot different than what we're used to, but that's the game we play um, today. So, I mean, I don't think that made much of a difference at all. Yeah, Jeff, just talk to me a little bit about what you thought of, of Noah Fant. Got him really involved in um, you know, what we're able to find in terms of some of the mismatches with him. Yeah, I mean, I think you, uh, I think you said it there. Is he's a mismatch. He's a big, strong guy who can run, run away from anybody. And, uh, you know, he does a good job when he gets the ball in his hands. And, um, you know, he, he made some great plays today. Touchdown, play on the sideline, two-point conversion. So uh, his tools are, are definitely showing up. And, you um, you know, he's, he's made some big plays for us so far this year. Jeff, we didn't get to see K.J. Hamler much, and you didn't really get to throw it to him too much because of how much camp he missed. But uh, what kind of talent do the Broncos have here in that guy? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's dynamic. There was a couple plays you saw today where he just came wide open on one-on-ones. Um, he can change direction super fast. So he's, uh, he's a guy who made some plays today, and um, he's a talented player just like, you know, all the other guys we have. So we have a – you know, we have a bunch of guys that we can throw to and, uh, you know, just got to get it to them. Hey, Jeff, uh, uh, obviously you don't get a lot of work with the ones when you got a young quarterback uh, like Drew Locke, but how much work did you get and did you settle in, you think, after the second half, uh, you know, and, and start to find your rhythm? Yeah, I mean, I think you, you said it there. You don't get much, if at all, work with the ones, and that's just uh, the life of, um, you know, being a backup in the NFL is you have to be ready to go without getting those reps. And uh, everybody <laughs> understands that. And it's not an excuse for, you know, for not executing. So, um, yeah, you'd, you'd like to have those reps, but there's just not enough to go around. And, um, you know, I understand that everybody understands that. And uh, there's, there's no excuse for lack of execution because you don't get those reps. Yeah, Jeff. Um almost rally the team there but in the in the first half it looked like a feel for the pass rush was something that uh you didn't pick up until the more you played the more you played is that accurate that uh you know just you weren't seeing it or feeling the pass rush properly after not having those reps i mean going in, going into this week we know that there was a there were there are really good front and they have good players 
and uh, they find a way to get to the quarterback. So we, I mean, we all knew that, and we knew that um, we were going to have to scheme some stuff up to get the ball early or, uh, you know, quicken the down because they can get home. But, um, yeah, I mean, some of those sacks are, some of those sacks are on me. You know, I got to move around a little bit, got to get the ball out on time. But, um, yeah, I mean, the more reps you get and the more live action you get, you get, the more comfortable you'll be.